Hello and welcome back. So in today's video, we are going to be doing lab 53 that is exploiting a website using SQL injection. So this is what I was talking in the previous video. SQL injection, same, uh, still the same thing, but that is this way you can either add information or remove it. For example, uh, it's a store that sells, um, for example, a bike for hundred dollars you go inject the new price that is maybe ten dollars so you hit your order and get the same bike for ten this just is an example of uh, why it's bad or for example you can erase medical records or any other financial information from uh, these or you can download it then delete them and ransomware and all those evil stuff people do we're gonna go and click on Firefox ESR localhost DVWA yep that should be it I wanna see yep that it is admin admin We are on the website again. DVWA security. Again, we're gonna make it low. So we have to do this step only to attack it. The impossible step is that maybe this uh, same uh, lab is being used for much stronger uh, labs or stronger uh, breaking tools all right sql injection so we're gonna Press one, submit, and okay. Now we're going to do one. Is equal to submit first name admin surname first name okay so this is showing basically uh, first and last name from a database now union select is Union select is basically a database command that unites two databases, I believe. Let's see the output, then I will be more sure. Union select, now first name, MariaDB. So it basically gave the uh, version or the SQL flavor being used. Let's go back and now this one and one is equal to zero union select null table. Ah, I believe now it's going to get us the table name form information schema dot table. information underscore schema dot tables where is the pound sign guest book okay so the table name is guest book that's the one we signed in the 
previous video applicable roles character set so it's giving us the surname is a column collision enable roles I believe in the table this is these are the individual columns like this is just one line they could explain it really well like what this uh, displaying but no they chose not to all right percent nope percent and one is equal to zero select null on cat first underscore name comma so concat basically in SQL it combines two values OXO zero X it's this one right zero X zero comma lost in comma So user right, so now this will be interesting if it shows passwords like stored password. I always had this question like how the passwords are stored uh, in the database and when I learned okay these are they are just hashes. So Get a little relieved but let's see and yep I believe these are hashes because admin 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 is something whatever but this seems like a hash and they are all different Gordon Brown Gordon so and this is password so I uh, so right here it's first name Gordon last name Brown username is Gordon and that's their password so passwords are stored as hash <coughs> and I don't know if we was it here where was like reversible encryption that is basically for when you want to store them where you can reverse in, uh, encrypt them into the original text and that you don't want it all right I, I I like this video and even though the lack of explanation but I, I enjoyed it I hope uh, this video has helped you if it has please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you the next one